I'm in Ikea, Brooklyn. And I'm always nervous about vlogging, but I thought I'd take you guys with me. Very excited. You gotta see this view. I had to switch to voiceover because I was whispering. I'm still a little hesitant about filming in public. But I headed straight to the plant section and this is what I found. I found this nice window planter. That's what you call it. Um, and it's really nice, but my windows don't open because I live so high. If not, I would have picked that up. And I like how they had it styled. They had a lot of planters. These white ones are very chic. This very in style for what's going on in like the house plant world. So I thought this was cool. And I believe these were only $12.99. They had all types of watering cans you name it and more planters for your windowsill now for those of you who have brown thumbs they had full plants and the prices weren't too bad i think 50 was like the most expensive and they had a lot of plants that i find pretty stylish pretty popular like the palm and of course your fiddly fig and then I moved over to where they had some faux flowers and these faux roses were really pretty. And of course the hydrangea were gorgeous as well, but I'm not a faux plant girl. And then I, of course I wanted some pots while I was there. I didn't wind up picking up any because they all had a lot of weight on them. Like it would have been heavy to get back to my home because um, you know I was traveling on that good old MTA. When I spotted these planters, I fell in love and the smaller one was actually on sale. I thought about it, but I just really didn't need it. If I had a shelf I could put it on, I probably would have picked up two of them because I like symmetry, but I just love, like it gave me a Grecian feel and I felt like, oh, that would be a good addition to anyone's collection. more pots so the pots start about at 79 cents and work their way up to about 20 and i know for all those plant lovers who love white pots this would have been heaven for them but for me i had to pass because they were all ceramic and again they were a bit heavy to try to lug back all the way from brooklyn to the bronx so i passed but i thought i'd share with you guys just in case you're on the hunt for some white pots that are not too expensive so now to the plants i spotted one lonely birds of paradise plant and it didn't say if it was white or orange it just said sterlitza and just one and behind it i thought these were corn plants but they were actually yucca and that they look very um similar but these were yucca and I don't have any, I don't think I want to add. I do have a corn plant though, and I, I enjoy that. But on this day, there wasn't a lot. I was a little disappointed with the selection. It might still just be too early in the season, but they didn't have a lot. Um, I spotted some plants I already have, like this um, Dracaena. I already have that. I, um, of course, had the Pato. So I'm just looking through the plants right now and I'm not really seeing any real standouts, just things that I already have. Um, I had a croton already and I see a euphorbia, which I have two already as well. I promise you I'm going to get the hang of this vlogging thing. I hope you can see. I noticed as I was filming that the light was shining in a little too bright from the window. But that really couldn't be helped. Um, I saw this fake Palia. And I thought it was cute. It didn't look anything like a real one to me. But I knew where they were trying to go. And I I meant to get one of these calico I, I always say this plant wrong i meant to pick one up but it, I, I don't know why i forgot i actually had one before and i i actually it it, it succumbed to mealy bugs so now we just see run of the mill aloe 
so I spotted another crow in. I'm just like, hmm, interesting. But I was tempted. And then I saw one sad looking one in the back. I felt so bad for that guy. And then one um, lonely peperomia just said, oh, look at him. Sitting there, I already have one. Got it from Ikea as well. Then just looking at these cute succulents. So it's touch and go with me and succulents. I can usually keep them alive for a while, but then something happens. So I, as tempted as I was, I, I just had to leave them. Uh, they had some nice lush looking peace lilies and some palms, which I believe I have this one as well. So on to the orchids. I'm not a flower girl, never owned any, but when I spotted these mini orchids, it just it just did something to me. It changed my mind. They're so little and so cute. I had to pick up one of those. If you haven't already, I already posted the haul on this channel. Go ahead and check that video out so you can see what else I hold. Then there was this one random faux orchid there just sitting there with, with its real cousins. <laughs> So this is some type of bromelia, I believe. Uh, some of the plants look like they weren't doing too well. So now I'm back on the other side again, looking at the succulents. Because I just, I was convinced I wanted to take one home. So I'm trying to figure out which one I want. And that's when I spotted this jade. I believe it's a lemon lime jade. I had to add that to my collection. So I took that guy with me. There's more lemon lime jade and succulents that I'm not too familiar with. I know there was some aloe up there as well. And I'm um, just looking around, just really not seeing. I'm trying to get the angles for you guys, I promise you. Um, I'm going to get better <laughs> at this. And a lot of cactus and I, I just, uh, the hubster does not like cactus. So I picked this one up and I really wanted this guy. He is so cute. But I knew bad enough that I was bringing home more plants. If I brought home a cactus, I'd, I'd really hear his mouth. So reluctantly, I had to put him back. disappointed with the selection at ikea i headed into manhattan and i would get off in front of the google offices and they had this sad looking fiddly fig so whoever's taking care of the plants you better get up on it so then i headed um to the plant district which wasn't too far away and i was on the hunt for something new and exciting the only thing about it over here is that you will find nice gems like this orange tree you'll find it but you will pay like the prices are pretty steep um but that's it that's the end of this video i thank you so much for watching look they had a whole banana <laughs> catch you in the next one guys